First I threw the peanuts onto the ground and then moved them onto the table and closer and closer to me. It took a little while for him to come onto the table and perhaps the glass was a deterrent being slippery. And when he wasn't happy, he would often squawk at me. Next, I put a crock on the table with a peanut on top of it. I don't know if birds have a sense of smell, but I thought this way he would get used to me. Unfortunately, first time I tried it, I forgot I had left an open container of peanuts, which was much more enticing for him. When he returned, he went back to the crock, but still didn't take the peanut. Instead, he hopped around the table and on the chairs. I suppose he was looking for that open dish full of peanuts. I love it when they fluff up their feathers. Success on the third try. As he becomes comfortable with the shoe, he approaches it more quickly each time. Next, I put my shoe on put my leg up on the table and add peanuts along my leg, bringing him closer and closer to me. He's still a little timid and unsure. covered up the dish so that he couldn't get the peanuts and left one in front of it so that I had one handy to put on my leg. He's a smart character. He noticed it and went after that. The dish is now turned over so he has to come to my leg if he wants a peanut. Okay, next I wanted him to come to my arm, but I did not have my hand showing, just my jacket. Unfortunately, it was too slippery for him, so I changed it. The lining of my jacket was more of a cloth material, so it gave him a better grip for landing. It did take a few attempts, however, and a few squawks from him. I then extended my fingers so he'd have to take the peanut from my hand. Oops, he spotted another open peanut. and see me. You know I'm not going to hurt you, right? Aren't we friends yet? Success at last. Now a fully open hand and he comes and takes the peanut. I also kept talking to him quite a bit in hopes that he would get used to my voice. First he would land on my hand, now he just snatches it as he flies by. Well, good luck for any of you who want to try training your own Jay. Just be patient. Here you go.